Greetings, Leo. Hello. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. I've been away for a little while. So glad to have you back. So glad to be back. Let's go ahead and get your reading started for the week of March 31st through April 6th, Leo. How are you? Hope all has been well with you. First, we're going to pull an angel number oracle card for you, and then we're going to go ahead and move over to uh, I'll probably use the Shaman's Dream Oracle for your overall theme, and then we'll get clarification with Tarot. So let's get an angel number for you, Leo. Today, 1313 is what we have for you, Leo. Starting fresh. Encouragement, goals, foundations, Creative Ventures Communication. Step out of your comfort zone, Leo. You are about to create something meaningful. All your skills and talents will bring you auspicious profits. Build up your confidence and trust in your decisions, Leo. 1313 is your angel number starting fresh. All right. Let's see. Where can I put this? I'm going to set this here for now. And uh, we'll get back to it. So, Shaman's Dream Oracle, overall theme for Leo Spirit, do tell. And we have Metox, repairing the body, mind, and spirit. I believe that goes perfectly with starting fresh Leo. Uh, setting foundations for what's coming in for you, being able to rejuvenate, relax, release, right? Um, allowing you to get your creative juices flowing, step back into your power because you take a metox. So that is the overall theme for you, Leo. And then let's see what the tarot has for you. All right. Divine Spirit, what does Leo need to know right now about starting fresh, preparing the mind, body, and spirit? All right. Two of Cups, the world, the Hierophant, wow, lots of shift, lots of major energy for you, Leo. Hmm. Two of Cups, definitely a partnership in the background um, is what I'm feeling with this Two of Cups, Leo. Something's calling to you and you will have to step out of your comfort zone. And when you do that and create this partnership, it will be very uh, advantageous for you. Very auspicious. And you have the world card here. So this new venture, this new partnership, uh, for the last couple of readings for you, Leo, I've gotten creative ventures and partnerships for you. And so... Spirit is reminding you, step out of your comfort zone, right? Step out of your comfort zone. There's something in the background nudging at you, Leo. And it's very, you will have auspicious, auspicious, excuse me, profits from this venture. Like, you have to take heed to this. And then we have the Hierophant. That is high... High spiritual guidance, your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides are working with you. They're a part of that partnership. They're a part of that team. But this partnership is of the earthly realm. There is someone who wants to partner with you. And it's bringing in these new auspicious prophets, Leo. Okay. All right. Let's get some more clarification. What else does Leo need to know about starting fresh? 
All right, so three of swords, eight of wands, five of swords, and the king of pentacles. You have the king of pentacles clarifying the page of pentacles, Leo. This is amazing. This looks a little um, shaky with this three of swords and five of wands. Yet, it is a part of the process. If everything was easy, we'd always get our way, Leo. We would always get what we want. And I am saying we. I am Leo, uh, son. So, what I'm feeling here, this partnership, you feel like you've been burned before. There have been situations in the past where you have partnered with someone trying to get a an idea off the ground but it didn't work out so well for you Leo but what I'm feeling now is this is a shift in energy it's your turn the world has come up here for you Leo so spirit is letting you know you are able to do this the right way with spiritual guidance uh from your angels ancestors Spirit guides your higher self, that hierophant coming in here. You have um, locked away knowledge. And so now you need to take some time, Leo, to unlock that inner wisdom. Tapping into your higher self, tapping into your soul's wisdom in order to make this partnership work. And it's not feeling, um, it doesn't resemble anything you've gone through in a past partnership. And then with the world, we have the eight of wands clarifying the world. And this is quick. This is rapid action. Um, swift movement, quick decisions is what I'm feeling here. And this again is auspicious profits because the king of pentacles clarifying the page of pentacles. That is a sure sign. For you, Leo, that this will absolutely work starting fresh. Be encouraged and continue to go after your goals. Because it didn't work out in the past doesn't mean it won't work out for you now. Spirit is telling you now is the time to quickly move on it. But not before taking care of yourself. Taking time away to recharge, rejuvenate, and re-energize mind, body, and spirit. And especially with that spirit as the Hierophant comes in for you, Leo, tap into your higher self. You need to get still, get quiet, be able to hear your soul's wisdom so that you know you're making those, uh, taking rapid action in the correct direction, right? And so with the Five of Swords coming up with the Hierophant, this is definitely... Um, I feel like I'm the the Five of Swords is not as awful of a card as most would have you believe. I feel like this is telling me, Leo, you can be strategic in your efforts when you tap into your higher self, when you listen for your soul's wisdom. You have strategy on your side with this Five of Swords, okay? And then again, this this is just amazing. The page of pentacles being clarified by the king of pentacles because the page of pentacles is the beginning of some sort of financial um, journey or some sort of new business venture. And to get that clarified with the king of pentacles, it just reiterates and confirms with your angel card telling you that all your skills and talents will bring you auspicious profits. This is beautiful. You will actually gain profits that are meaningful right and it makes a difference in your financial uh overall picture leo this is success the king of pentacles clarifying that page of pentacles is saying uh this is a successful outcome for you leo i feel like i want one more card i'm gonna go to the um Spirit Animal Oracle. I just feel the need to pull something else for you, Leo. Spirit. One Spirit Animal card for Leo. Do tell. 
This is absolutely the time. Spirit is letting you know, Leo, this is the time to move forward. Things may not have worked out in the past with a business partner, but were you ready? Skunk Spirit, know your worth. You are absolutely worthy of having successful businesses, having uh, success in your finances, having success in your personal life. The world is yours, Leo. Know your worth. This is that inner wisdom that comes through to remind you of who you are, Leo, knowing your worth, knowing that things that you expect and call towards you, you will be fulfilled when you realize and believe your worth. All of this can be attained is what I'm feeling with this skunk spirit for you, Leo. You can attain the desires of your heart. You can can attain success in your creative ventures. You can be fulfilled and these things will come to fruition for you, Leo. On the bottom of the deck, we have three of cups. Death and Queen of Swords. I just needed more. And Leo, this is beautiful. This Three of Cups is a celebration for you. The celebration of the success of this creative venture as you take on a partner that will work out. You will be compatible. You will um, vibe off one another, one another and get things going. That's what I'm feeling with this Three of Cups. Being having a very good uh, success, a lot of joy in what you're doing, and just so proud of the efforts and strides you've made to bring you to that King of Pentacles moment, Leo. And Death is saying, it's the end of not believing in yourself. That's what I'm feeling. We're done with not believing in yourself. We're done with low self-esteem, Leo. We're done with low self-confidence. This death card is here to remind you, Leo, there's a new day coming. The world is yours. There's a new day coming. And then you have the Queen of Swords who is highly perceptive. She is clarity, male or female, doesn't matter. There is clarity with the Queen of Swords. There is focus. You will have focus. You will have clarity on the right direction to move with this Eight of Wands energy, Leo. Absolute um, just genius. The genius will come out of you as you tap into your higher self, as you uh, reach for and listen to your soul's wisdom. That is what it, I'm feeling with this Queen of Swords for sure, Leo. You this is this is all pointing in your favor to bring things to fulfillment. You will attain success, Leo. This week ahead, keep your eyes open, keep your ears to the street, keep your heart bright to know what's coming towards you and realize you are worth it every step of the way.